Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 831. This is The Witch. The Witch is a 2015 film that is directed by Robert Eggers, who also directed The White House and The Northman, and I believe will be directing the upcoming movie Nose for War 2. But The Witch is Robert Eggers' first feature film, I believe, that has actors for, and actors and actresses right I'm not table joy. So this is also subtitled a New England folk tale. And what's interesting is that the movie, even though it's called The Witch, the W is more like two fees because that's what the W looked like back in those those periods of time. Of course if you think about it Two fees do make up a W. I didn't, didn't realize that until now. But The Witch is a 2015 movie from A24 Films, Parks and Rainbow Productions, RT Features, Maiden Foyage Pictures, Mod Street Pictures, and Rook's Nest Entertainment. I saw this movie on October 9th, 2023 at AMC Newport on the very 20 in Newport, Kentucky. This was part of their A24 a twenty four movies that they were showing in October as part of the as part of the thrills and chills of AMC. This was the first one. X was the second one, which I always saw last year. The next two I'll be seeing soon under the skin in Midsummer. Well, Midsummer I did see back in twenty nineteen, but I'll talk about that later. So the witch is about it takes place in sixteen thirty New England. Where panic and despair envelops a farmer, his wife, and their children when the youngest son Samuel suddenly vanishes. The family blames Thomason, the oldest daughter who was watching the boy at the time of his disappearance, for not keeping an eye on him. With suspicion and paranoia mounting, twin siblings Mercy and Jonas suspect Thomason of witchcraft, testing the Koran's faith, royalty, and love to one another. Oh. This was great. I thought it was pretty good. So, Anna Taylor Joy plays Thomason, who is the oldest daughter of the family. The family is comprised of a husband, a wife, and several kids. And Anna Taylor Joy plays, Tom plays Thomason, who is the oldest of the kids. Or at least the oldest daughter. And I think the oldest kid in the family, maybe. But anyway, um, we see, so we see them having to go with it. So the family got kicked out of their home, and so they are traveling, trying to find a new home. William and Catherine, are the husband and wife, try to lead a devoted Christian wife homesteading on the edge of an impassable wilderness for five children. With the, when their newborn son, Samuel, mysteriously vanishes and their crops fail, the family begins to turn on one another, especially with Thomason, who was with Samuel when Samuel disappeared. This is a chilling portrait of a family unraveling within their own sins Weaving them pray for an unconceivable evil. Oh. So Ralph in Innocent plays William, Kate Dickey plays Catherine, and then we see other actors and actresses like Ellie Granger as Mercy, Rutus Dawson as Jonas, Harvey Scrimshaw as Caleb, Julian Richings as the Governor, and Bowsabot Garnet as the Witch. So there's an actual witch in the movie that we don't get to see a lot in the film, but but it does detail how Samuel was taken by the witch. But Thomason doesn't realize it until it's too late. And when this happens and the, the and when the crops start to fall, start to fail on the family. The family definitely begins to turn on each other, especially with Thomason. Because the family, most of the family blames Thomason for what happened. And then Mercy and Jonas accuse Thomason of witchcraft, 
which then becomes more sudden, sudden to them when one of the other children starts having something going on and they're not sure what to do. And Thomason isn't sure what's going on, but she may have a connection with the witch. I won't go into much details, but this was pretty good. If you guys like The Lighthouse and The Northman, which I did, I saw both movies, then you guys will like The Witch. And I did see The Lighthouse in 2019 and The Northman in 2022. Northman was movie number 471. Check out that movie review if you want. But yeah, The Witch was pretty good, and I'll be super excited to see Robert Eggers' new film, Nosferatu. I believe it might come in 2024, but I don't know for sure. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So that's my movie review of The Witch. Please stay tuned for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.